Hi everyone, my name is Rita Bedoyan. I am the IB counselor here at Granada and I will present to you um, all the incoming ninth graders who are interested in joining IB. So here is our IB team at Granada. Mr. Lewis is our IB coordinator and Ms. Quintana is our CAS coordinator. She works with students who are completing their community service requirements. Um, I am the academic counselor and Ms. Jimenez is our college counselor. So at Granada, there's four different levels of classes that students can take. IB students will be taking all four levels of these classes. CP is your most standard regular leveled class. It's college preparatory classes. Um, there's no way added onto the GPA. On, after that, we have honors leveled classes, which give you half a point onto your GPA. And then we have AP and IB leveled courses. These are both college leveled courses and they can add a weight onto your GPA. It's either half a point or a full point. The main difference is that AP classes cover a wide range of topics within the subject, whereas IB classes go more in depth within the subject. So students joining IB in the ninth grade are essentially in the pre-IB program. It's called the middle years program. And this is where we're giving you the classes and the foundation to succeed when you advance onto the diploma program, which is in the 11th and 12th grade. That's when students really start preparing um, and submitting assignments to obtain the IB diploma. So in the ninth and 10th grade, we're focusing a lot on critical thinking skills, building your research skills, leadership, personal growth. We follow a cohorted model. So we have small, uh, small groups of students. Um, you see a lot of familiar faces in your classes. You follow the same students all throughout high school. Um, so that's one of the main advantages of the program. It's a dedicated group of us on campus as staff members just for IB students. So students who are advancing on to the diploma program in the 11th and 12th grade are getting ready to obtain the IB diploma. So the IB diploma is earned in addition to your high school diploma and that IB diploma can be used if you choose to study at universities internationally. You don't have to use it for that. Some students just want to obtain the diploma. That's okay as well. So in the 11th and 12th grade, all of your courses become IB leveled courses and you may have a seven period schedule. Um, this varies, we go case by case, depending on the student. If you're an athlete, if you have other extracurriculars, you just talk to me and we find a way to fit all of that stuff into your schedule. So please don't think that there's no flexibility within the program. We can always make it work and find a way. In addition to your classes, you're going to be start, uh, starting your extended essay and your CAS project, which is the community service project. The extended essay is a research paper of your choosing. You pick the topic. Same thing goes for the community service project. On top of that, you'll do internal assessments, which is a fancy way of saying that you're going to be taking tests in class. And then you'll also be doing IB exams, which are external assessments. IB exams will typically be taken at the end of senior year. There are some exceptions, but just keep in mind that all of this is started in the 11th grade and everything is due at the end of 12th grade. We have a bunch of free tutoring on campus and virtually for students. There's um, online tutoring, but there's also tutoring. Uh, we have peer tutors available. We have outside tutors who come in after school to help our students. Um, but in addition to that, IB students have their own tutoring room. So it's a much smaller setting. So this is a sample schedule for a ninth grade, uh, ninth grader who's in the IB program. Your the level that of which you're placed in, whether it's CP honors or AP, is going to depend on your grades from your eighth grade classes. So everyone will be taking English. Everyone's going to be taking some form of math, dependent on what math you're taking as an eighth grader. Your science class will be biology, and then you have these five world languages to choose from. We do have other languages offered at Granada, but there's no IB exams for that, which is why you have to select from these five. Everyone's going to be taking a PE. However, if you're planning on doing a school or marching band, please let me know because this might differ for you. And then every student, IB student's elective is pre-chosen for them, you'll be taking human geography, and that's because it's going to give you world history credit, which is typically done in the 10th grade, but IB students do it in the 9th grade. So I'll go ahead and share the planning sheet with you. This is what the next four years in the IB program can look like. So 9th and 10th grade are pretty standard. 
Um, the main difference is the history class. So in 10th grade, you'll be doing AP government. In the 11th and 12th grade, um, if you're interested in joining the diploma in the 11th and diploma program in the 11th and 12th grade, you'll fill out the IB application uh, spring semester of 10th grade. So when you advance on to the 11th grade diploma program, this is when all of your classes become IB leveled courses. So it does get a little bit more challenging. This is a very rigorous program, but it's built that way to give you the skills to be eligible and earn the IB diploma at the end of senior year. So students in the IB program will be taking four years of English, four years of math, four years of a world language, four years of science, and four years of history. This is different than students in other programs. They don't necessarily have to do four years of specific subjects, but for IB, you do. So keep this in mind when, especially when you're choosing a world language, you're going to be studying it for the next four years. And then on top of that, there's some other elective requirements that we have students complete. I'm not going to get too into detail with that, but this is a quick rundown of what your next four years could look like. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, reach out to me, email me, and I'm more than happy to help you. Other than that, uh, thank you so much for listening, and I hope to see you all in the IB program.